game is all get out of here. This is the first time I've been back here on this side with you. I was I was surprised to see you back, but pleasantly surprised. Agreed. It was it's been really nice to see all these familiar faces that we have seen tonight. Kasoku was here. I don't yeah. know. I don't know where he is, but he I was here somewhere. I haven't seen Kasoku in a while. I know Denti came back. I see. I mean, Kenny G. I don't know how long it's been since I've seen Kenny G here. I'm telling you, and of course, the wonderful Mudes. Yeah, Mudes coming through was uh, recently up in France for a tournament name that I definitely remember. You all can <laughs> not remind me in the chat, but just you know, fill in the blanks. This is for you. This is a Mad Lib. You can you can be funny. You can be intelligent about it. Just tell people the truth. I'm leaving this open ended. Like, this is an open face sandwich. Maybe if Ruski Nerd is in the chat as well, while also physically being in the event, he can also tell you because he was at the same event. Oh, really? Yes. He, they had they had this like in, invitational like graphic put up. Everyone got one. Ruski didn't, and he homemade a graphic. <laughs> it was so good. Do your it, own promotion. It was baby. literally hit, it was his golf photo with like, <laughs> with like little nest legs. It was hilarious. Love that. I absolutely love it. Here's my question though. When coming into this set right here, obviously we know the skill level difference is, is very large given Mudez's prowess. I mean, he's the, one of the best players in the world. I mean, that's going to be the case for a significant portion of even competitive Smash players between Mudez and most people. But you're saying. So the, the character matchup, what, what do you think... What do you think the advantages, disadvantages would be for Greninja here? I feel like Greninja has a type of a rushdown that could kind of ice out Peach's abilities. I think the big thing that Greninja, I mean, the thing that makes him as powerful uh, as he is in this game, you know, people consider him to be a relatively strong character. He does have moves that are very, very difficult to punish, especially if you're trying to block, not really whiff punish space around. And the problem is that a lot of that is based on the ground. The ninja wants to catch you locked down on the ground, not being able to move away from him. And on top of that, on what we were talking about, like, so for one, Peach likes to hang out up in the air, not get swept up by things like the down tilt that you saw right there, the dash attack as well. Those are the two famous openers for Greninja. And even that Nair is usually used as a landing tool to mm -hmm. set up pressure and stuff. Generally going to be really hard for Greninja to really set up these confirms. You need to catch Mutase on a lot of timing coming out of the air uh, to, to get those. So this is a little bit of an uphill battle for Greninja, but it does in some cases, again, he does have the speed to really... Uh, initiate things really well in this matchup. I absolutely agree with that. I think that is a big thing. And Kenny G is relatively pretty good at executing a lot of these things. But again, your opponent on the opposite side of, of the screen right there is a player who is touted it, it just very well known. The accolades are very ever present. One of the best, if not the best representative of the character playing here against you. And you, I mean, like you said, the, the best way to describe it was it was an uphill battle. Amazing DI from Kenny G. I almost thought he lost it in the corner there. Yeah, honestly, at this point, I'm like not even surprised by it with Peach, right? Because pre patch, I mean, that forward air, of course, is going to kill, but you're going all the way across the biggest stage of the game, PS2. Now you're getting taken across PS2 to the tune of 54%, but dropping that combo, Kenny G, love that reversal, noticing, okay, Mudes has got to land on this platform. He's got some ending lag. That's enough time for me to swipe him with that down tilt, get that kill confirmed. Great recognition there in the moment. I love it. I also want to see how Kenny G kind of rolls with a little bit of momentum that he has carried. Mutes uh, got quite a bit of extra credit. 60% is, is enough on a light character like Greninja. But he is playing well around what Mutes is throwing at him. A drag down would have been great right there. Teching it off the, or reading the tech off the platform. But he doesn't go for it. He's got, he's got a little Ooh. bit of... A little bit of mix-up, and as he get, he does get the drag down, and I was not genuinely not prepared for that. I thought he was going to plus off that little momentum or that advantage state, but unfortunately got knocked out of flow. I don't even know if Kenny G was prepared for that either. I think that was a that was an FGC Bob Ross, a happy little reset, and he was good enough to pick up <laughs> that happy little reset, right? Continue that string. I think what he's already shown uh, immediately is that he is uh, setting a tempo that is really helping him juggle. Mudes yes. really well. This is a great juggle game from him. What a great edge guard for Mudes, though, to clean that up. Kenny G makes enough the recoveries, and it's still not enough because Mudes has seen this before. This guy plays by the books, but he plays by the books better than anybody in this entire game. Ooh, and just missing that chase right there with the up air. Might have been able to secure the kill up high, but now just tons of damage you're having to play. You are in complete disadvantage. And Mudes is going to punish you at every single instance for it. 100% racked up here on his final stock. It is not looking too good for our friendly froggy friend. 
Not able to get that down throw into the instant double jump back here. He had the inputs right, but just the percentages were not ripe to get that KO on Mute Ace, who's now sitting at 140, and this is where things become real struggle bus against Mute, because if there's one thing that everybody knows him for, it's just bossing up when he's at those high percentages. He's uh, staring him in the face and saying, hmm. Well, what exactly do I do here? Do I want to go for a little reset? Do I want to toss him off stage? Maybe get a ledge trap? At this point, I was about to say it doesn't matter, but Kenny G bringing this down to last stock, it's tough to make comebacks against Mute Ace. One of the most difficult nuts to crack in that manner, and you're getting a show of it right there. Tossing out some of those easy, breezy option coverage hitboxes. Take that stock. Take that first game. Putting Kenny G on the back foot in this set. And it's funny you say back foot, giving you a little hip. Little hip bump right there on the back side, taking that final stock. And I mean, I guess it's a JV too. I mean, New Days didn't take a single bit of damage, but I feel like Kenny could feel good about that. I mean, you're taking a top player down to his final stock means you're putting enough pressure on them to have to recognize where where they are faltering and fix the cracks. At, at this point, you realize, okay, I've got New Days in a place where he's not completely running the show. We're going to be kind of trading jabs, trading blows in this case. Now, you don't want to get into a prolonged game with Mutes, but the number one thing that you have to think about is that when it comes to the percentage deficits, you need to stick to him like glue. He's going to have those moments where he gets that crazy damage output, right? And he's just going to outpace you a little bit. That's what makes Peach scary. But in situations like these, you really just have to say, okay, don't mind. I got to throw out some powerful stuff myself and get things started. And you gotta find, like you're saying, those cracks. You have to force him to respect you so that those cracks can appear and you can get some big things like this started. We got the back air right there. Holding Udays at the ledge, and I like the stage presence. Kenny G was holding there. It was a ledge trap situation, but it wasn't so much so threatening that Kenny G would let Mute kind of walk back up on the stage, you know, hey, you can do this, but I'm gonna poke you here. You can move here, but you're going to move back to the ledge. And I like what that, like, what kind of aura it produced here for Kenny G. Sadly, he doesn't connect with the... Oh my gosh, that up smash would have been juicy for that first stock. Yeah, but just kind of not getting guaranteed timing, getting the sour spot Nair into the forwarder. Great recognition from him. And again, like we were talking about, really stuck to Mutes in that game. Didn't allow him any openings to really finish off those stocks. He's making Mutes work really hard. Uh, to take these stocks. So what Cody says, right, you have to win by two with Peach a little <laughs> bit, right? You have to get that second hit to get that KO compared to another one, just gravity. And there it is, right there, a sour spot backer, not going to be able to take that kill. And Kenny G can really start to build up a lead that'll let him run the pace of this match. Beautiful. Like, just look at it, 50% extra credit here. And Kenny G at 166, I mean, you could breathe on Greninja at this point, and he is losing a stock, oh. but he is running with it. He is he is actually forcing Mudes to, to just make those minute changes in his approach. That first stock is sealed away, but I this lead is it's it's a cushion, but it's not a very soft cushion. You have to make sure that you're just not leaving anything wide open. Because like you're saying, at 82% that usually feels really safe, but against Peach. These early percents get racked up so quickly, and that's where things can start feeling like they spiral out of control a little bit for you, right? So, yeah, definitely on Kenny G to keep things going. Sour Spot Up Smash is enough to do it. You were belaboring how that move does not function earlier. This time it comes in to help him. And I can't believe it's the Sour Spot, too. It's the outside hit that took the stock. 61% Kenny G is working with so much advantage just on life at the moment. I wouldn't say positioning, by, by any means, but he is working at least with the percentage advantage at hand. You mentioned the word positioning, by the way. I want to talk about the positioning from Kenny G because I, I've noticed that, especially when he's coming out of disadvantage and when he's trying to maybe open up just to see a few days old flinch, take a swing at him, his spacing and his precise movement with this character has been so impressive. I think a lot of people just think of Greninja as well. He's fast, he's got safe hitboxes, so I'm just going to kind of run in at you know relatively predictable angles and throw out things that feel optimal. And that's one of those situations where he just went, okay, I'm going to full send with this Nair. Mudez with that perfect spacing himself, able to get the punish, bring this game like right back to even. But the fact that Kenny G's been playing with the lead this whole time, I think really does speak to the fact that his disadvantage and his movement have been immaculate. They have been, but this percentage lead is now completely dissolved. But Kenny G can, I mean, 
we saw him bring it back the first two stocks. He can do it here, but that spacing needs to come back. The awareness of his position next to Mutes needs to heighten in this moment. And this is just the resilience of a, just a higher level player being put on display right before our eyes. Still, even at 91%, you're not out of anything yet as Greninja. Love the high recovery right there from Kenny G. Knowing Mute Ace is going to have to take some extra time. We're going to have to see if he knows exactly how to find these KOs with all this rage because Greninja can absolutely be a rage monster. He still has some crazy stuff available. Another down tilt, maybe even a dash attack into a forward air could get him this game number two. And you can see he's looking for it. That is what Mute Ace now has to play around. 141, but you have to win by two. No, not like that. Oh, it kills him. The winky face, the slight extra power.